Hi, uh, Kyle here again from Be Like You. Um, in this video, I want to show you a couple of little ideas around fitting the hive gate for um, deterring high, small hive beetle. Uh, it also works really well with wax moths. So, um, this is just a mock up. I don't have any issues with hive beetle in New Zealand yet. Um, and so, I'm just throwing this together to give you a few ideas. You may um, come up with your own solutions to this, but this is just some. Some starters, I guess, some tips. So it's just a bit of plywood. Um, it's roughly seven mils. Uh, it could be up to ten mil thick. I guess it really depends on your risers and how much uh, leeway you've got for fitting the two components together. Now I've just laid this down on the on the base um, in between my riser extensions, and for this setup, using the adapter plate that we supply. Um, I'll be leaving this plywood proud by coming forward of my risers roughly 3mm, 4mm, it doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is that this surface here, this face here will come down and meet this surface here. So I'll just place that and put that in place. Um, okay, so this is just a rough sort of throw together to give you some tips, it's not perfect. So. So then you would bring the hive gates in from the, high, uh, from the front and bring them into the, the front fit, fixing curvature there. Um, place them in the location that you desire. Bring the other one in. Like so. Okay, so the idea of that is that there's now a ledge, uh, a space between the hive gate and the landing board. Um, and we want to achieve I would I'd say around seven millimeters to ten millimeter gap there. Um, now that would be a good little setup for um, for the hive gates and the adapter plate, and that should be sufficient. Um, now you might also have made yourself up some reducer blocks like so, so they can be fitted in a similar manner. manner. Um, but upside down, so rather than having them like so, um, with your box on top here, spin them around, match that thickness with some support blocks of a similar type to this, or individual ones for each hive gate, and then this can be fitted in the front, and the gates fitted in a similar fashion. Um, that's that part, and then the box fits straight down upon that. Now. As with all, all of your fitment uh, scenarios with the hive gate, it's, it is really crucial that there is a nice, clean fitting all the way around with with no to you know very little to no air gaps and so on. Um, the whole process with the hive gate is that the predators have to, if they're going to, use the hive gate. So having any gaps around them will negate that process. So that's that set up. Um, Hopefully that will give you some tips and ideas for setting it up on a normal configuration. A um, couple of other little hacks. Uh, you may have seen this situation on a nucleus colony with a doorway like this with the hole. Um, they all are various sizes, these holes. Um, so you'll need to find a piece of tube that is appropriate for the holes in your nuke boxes. I still use these. They're really they're really good for transport and so on and, and quite handy so a little tip with these is to and you would have seen this with other guys explaining this with tubes a bit of a conduit electrical conduit water pipe so on and so forth um, you'll see that I've cut this one through um, this was just to try and explain it's not exact but for instance if you have a piece of pipe which only just is not fitting um, you can get a little hacksaw, take a section out, which allows you to squeeze the squeeze the pipe together to sh to, s to make the radius smaller. You can put it in, let it go, and it should come back out and hold itself. Now, the distance here, um, I see a lot of people bring them out to a good inch or so out from the from the entrance. It actually makes it very hard for the bees to locate that. Um, and when it comes to small hive beetle, it's not probably not necessary. I think if you bring it out to 10, 12 millimeters from, from the surface to the edge of the, the uh, tube, that should be enough for the hive beetle. Um, 
Another little trick here is that I've made this tube long enough so that I can extend it out, have it sit there and do its job. But when I go to transport this nucleus colony, I can um, I can shove that tube back into the hole there and it's clear of my door which allows me to keep um, ventilation happening and retain the tube somewhere safe for the next spot where, where I can then bring it out and uh, re-establish the position and walk away. Um, obviously you wouldn't want to do this and leave, and leave that in there um, when you walk away from them in, in their new spot. So do remember to bring this back out when you get to the new place. Um, another option is to, uh, this is an ice cream container, dropped up and again you can wrap it up, compress it. It's pretty rough and ready but it'll do the job um, and it also can be pushed away to uh, allow you to shut the door. So um, both of these scenarios I have to say I don't have high battles so I can't test these right now. I will be going to Australia at some point um, and putting this to the test. Uh, I would like some feedback if you guys are using this system and have tried it. Um, would love some feedback. It, there's no guarantees here, it is just another system to try, um, another way of utilising the high gate. So good luck and um, hopefully, this is, hopefully this has been of some help. Um, keep the comments coming in and uh, from Highgate and so and all of us. See you later.